What fighting and killing I have seen have not been glorious, but slum grubby. I fought the most during junior high school and always cried. Fights are confusing as to who has won. The corpses I've seen had been rolled and dumped, sad little dirty bodies covered with a police khaki blanket. My mother locked her children in the house so we couldn't look at dead slum people. But at news of a body, I, I would find a way to get out. I had to learn about dying if I wanted to become a swordswoman. Once there was an Asian man stabbed next door. Words on cloth pinned his corpse. When the police came around asking questions, my father said, No read Japanese. Japanese words. Me Chinese. I've also looked for old people who could be my gurus. A medium with red hair told me that a girl who died in a far country follows me wherever I go. This spirit can help me if I acknowledge her, she said. Between the headline and heartline in my right palm, she said, I have the mystic cross. I could become a medium myself. I don't want to be a medium. I don't want to be a crank taking offerings in a wicker plate from the frightened audience who, one after another, asked the spirits how to raise rent money, how to cure their coughs and skin diseases, how to find a job. And martial arts are for unsure little boys kicking away under fluorescent lights. I live now where there are Chinese and Japanese, but no immigrants from my own village looking at me as if I had failed them. Living among one's own immigrant villagers can give a good Chinese, far from China glory and a place. That old bus boy is really a swordsman, we whisper when he goes by. He's a swordsman who's killed fifty. He has a tong axe in his closet. But I am useless, one more girl who couldn't be sold. When I visit the family now, I wrap my American successes around me like a private shawl. I am worthy of eating the food. From afar, I can believe my family loves me fundamentally. They only say, when fishing for treasures in the flood, be careful not to pull in girls. Because that is what one says about daughters. But I watched such words come out of my own mother's and father's mouths. I looked at their ink drawing of poor people snagging their neighbor's floatage with long flood hooks and pushing the girl babies on down the river. And I had to get out of hating range. I read in an anthropology book that Chinese say, girls are necessary too. I have never heard the Chinese I know make this concession. Perhaps it was a saying in another village. I refuse to shine my way anymore through our Chinatown, which tasked me with the old sayings and the stories. The swordswoman and I are not so dissimilar. May my people understand the resemblance soon so that I can return to them. What we have in common are the words at our backs, the ideographs for revenge, our report a crime and report to five families. The reporting is the vengeance, not the beheading, not the gutting, but the words. And I have so many words, chink words and gook words too, that they do not fit on my skin.